everyone, welcome back. I'm Dancy. Hope you're having a fantastic week. So today we're going to talk about how to save more money on a low income. If you keep watching, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to save $500 every month. That is $6,000 a year while making only $9 an hour. So from the age of 17 to 19, which is two years after high school, I work barely minimum wage jobs. We're talking about $9 an hour, flipping burgers at White Castle and a cashier job at Kmart. But even then, regardless of making just $9 an hour, I was able to put aside $500 every month. And in two years, by the time I was 19 years old, I had about $12,000 saved up as my net worth. And after that, at 19, I moved to East Coast all by myself out of my parents' home to build my business. So today I'm going to talk about exactly how and what I did and how my lifestyle looked like so you can replicate the process and do the same for yourself. Before we get into it, let's take a moment of imagination. Think about what would your life look like if you had extra $12,000 sitting aside in your savings account two years from today. Imagine for a second. I guarantee that you will feel a sense of peace, a sense of security, a sense of freedom from things that were holding you back before. Let's not forget the feeling of stress that comes with working a minimum wage jobs and the feeling of not knowing if you will be able to pay the bills. Having an extra cash saved up can truly give you options that you're worth more in life. Again, that is $12,000 saved up two years from now. So let's get into it. Here's the problem. The mindset is once we get paid, our money has to go several places at once. Bills needs to be paid, credit card balances, groceries, even some non-essentials. And in all the shuffle, savings ends up taking a back seat. The idea is to break the cycle and start treating your savings account like a bill that needs to be paid every single month. That means each time you get your paycheck, the first thing you do is set aside an X amount of dollars to save before taking care of your bills and other necessities. I promise you, this will be a big game changer. The whole mindset about paying yourself first is the last thing you will ever have to worry about is having zero dollars in your savings when you need money the most. We all have good intention when it comes to saving money, but in reality, we only save money when you develop good money habits and learn to prioritize your financial future over your current ones. Second is housing. Housing is the biggest expense you pay for every month. If you're still young and living with your parents, that is perfectly fine and there's no shame in living with your parents for a couple years till you set yourself a healthy financial foundation. Apparently 30% of adults under 30 live with their parents. I get it, the society has a stigma around it, but don't let anyone tell you different. It is just considered normal and there's no shame at all. But don't just stay in with your parents so you can have more spending money for yourself. What would be truly respectful is to pay your parents a reasonable amount each month in rent so that you're not being irresponsible and helping loosen some burden from your parents. This is a great opportunity to save up your money so that you can move out in a couple years and be a financially free adult and you don't have to rely on them anymore. Now, if you don't have the luxury of living with your parents, no big deal, you can still do it. You can live in an apartment with couple roommates or rent out a single room. Yeah, I did say a roommate. If you're a low wage earner, you can't afford to rent a fancy apartment to yourself just yet. So suck it off for a couple years if you have to. There's no shame regardless of your circumstances in having a roommate. Ideally, housing expense should be only 25% of your income. So if you're taking home about a couple thousand dollars a month, your rent should be no more than $500 or maximum $550. The next thing you wanna be conscious of is saving money on utilities. Trust me, if you're low income, you want to find creative ways to keep your utilities as low as possible. The easiest thing to do is make sure you turn off lights, even if you're living the room for a minute. Every minute adds up to you saving more money. I also like to turn off all my electronics when I'm not using them. Not only turn them off, but to unplug them because even when you're not using it, it is still sucking phantom energy. 
Number four, pack your lunch, cook at home. You've got to save money on food. Here's the thing, if you're low income, you can't afford to eat out. When I was a teen making less money, the most I ate out was barely once or twice a month. So what can you do? Cook every meal from scratch. It's much cheaper than buying processed, packaged, frozen food, which is often so unhealthy. And if you're like me, who don't know how to cook, this might be a great idea to learn simple recipes so that you can avoid spending that $8 on a Subway sandwich or $10 on a Chinese takeout. Not only that, you can often purchase weeks worth of groceries for the same price as the two dinner meals outside. Crazy. According to Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average American household spends about $280 per month eating out. Instead, prepare your food at home and watch your saving literally pile up month after month. Number five, internet. Shop around for the best deals. You don't need a plan with cable. Let's be real, you don't need cable nowadays. There are so many cheaper alternatives. Personally, I have a 5G internet for only $39.99, which takes care of all my needs. So why pay for premium channels you never use? when for a fraction of the cost, these cable alternatives like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, all at the average of six to $15 per month can fulfill your television binge watching needs. Number six, lower your cell phone bill. It's time to find ways to cut back. Save money on your cell phone service by getting rid of extras like costly data plans, phone insurance, unnecessary warranties. And don't be afraid to switch your provider if you have to. It might require a little bit of research and comparison, but the savings are worth it in the end. Cell phone insurance is a major profit center for cell phone service providers. Given that insurance often runs around $11 a month, that cost adds up quickly. That is $132 a year or $264 over two years. You're better off paying for occasional repairs out of pocket. For example, a new screen typically costs around $79. And turn on Find My iPhone or a similar tool to make sure you don't lose your phone. You can also consider prepaid plans through prepaid carriers such as AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon as an alternative to a traditional two-year contracts. Prepaid plans generally save you more money by reducing your monthly bill over $30 or in some cases even more. So far, I've only talked about cutting down on necessities. How do you save more money on other items? Here are a couple things that you can also consider. Sell things you're not using. Get rid of things that are old and just sitting around in your house eating space. It's always a good idea to declutter once in a while. You did be surprised at how much clutter you have in your home that you don't even use or think about. And the cash you can make by doing this can truly start to create that emergency fund. And lastly, remove unused subscription services. You did be amazed if you looked at all that you subscribe to but never end up using like Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, gym memberships, trendy subscription boxes, and Amazon Prime. Time to save, save, save more money and build your wealth. Consider sharing memberships like Netflix or Hulu with some of your family or friends. That way everyone is winning and saving money. Hope this video helps you save more money regardless of your income bracket. You can stop the paycheck to paycheck cycle by living below your means for a couple years and following a simple secret, budget every dollar. If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe and like the video.